So look, in my history of being black, I have never like really seen a woman and been like, I would never date her cause she got kids. Like I've never really been like that guy. And I understand for the longest time, I really didn't understand why men took that standpoint because I feel like women with kids have some nurturing qualities, caring qualities, you know, survival instinct qualities that a lot of women don't have. So I always can appreciate that when I see it. But in this particular situation with Dana, when I tell you, man, like she was like the best girl, like the best girl, like, I mean, very intuitive, very caring, very intentional, very like, put it like this. If you don't know how to do something in a relationship, it's up to you to try to learn, right? And learn your partner to be a better person. Cause I personally feel like when you in a relationship or attempting to be in a relationship, you have to wake up and try to be at least the best version of yourself every day just to make it work. That's, that's what it, it's called putting the work in, in a relationship, right? And so when I tell you this woman, every day like woke up and said you know what i'm gonna be the best version i can be for tom and i appreciated it truly because she put forth like so much effort so much time so much everything into what we was trying to do and it was so different for me because like honestly keep it real none of the women i had dealt with up until that point really even understood that but she had this one problem like and ugh. She had these two kids and I wouldn't, they wouldn't even kids. They was 24 and 21, two boys. And man, I can't stand them two little niggas to this day. I look, let's just call the one dealer clitoris. Cause I hate him. Right. He's a, and then La vagina. Let's call him La vagina. Cause La vagina and dealer clitoris. That's these niggas names, right? Ugh. They was in and out of jail, Jody's like mama's boys to the, 10th power. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of kids. Both of them had a bunch of kids. Just, and she was like a coddler, like a coddler. Anything they did, she made an excuse for. Like the stupid stuff, like she bought one of them a car. He messed up the fine, you know, stopped paying on it, didn't tell her, you know, messed up her credit, like all this stuff. Just one thing after another. Calling four o'clock in the morning, come bail me out, this, this, and the third, and she come do it. It got to the point where like, I would never go over her house cause they stayed with her. I would never go over her house. So it was like dating two people. So like I had this version of her when she was with me and everything was perfect and everything was good. And we was, you know, growing and everything. But then that version of her with her adult sons and it was like crazy. So I ain't gonna say I gave her an ultimatum, but I just sort of said, Hey, you know, how do you feel about like what we doing versus what we could be doing because of this situation with your kids? And to this point and in every, every other subject, Dana was smart, intelligent, intuitive, like all of these things. But when it came to them kids, she became like a dumb blonde. Like she didn't really see the damage she was doing. And that's what I be. I always try to tell women with boys, like when you raising these boys to be little boys, that's who they end up being as grown men. And this world will chew them up and spit them out. You must raise black men to be men. You cannot raise them to be little boys. You cannot dress them up like your exes. You cannot coddle them. You have to prepare them for the world that is designed to eat them alive. Designed. So when we would have these talks, it would be like a Bert and Ernie conversation. Like, hey, Bert. You know what I'm saying? Like she literally would not get it at all. And I'll be like, babe, like, so I used to just tell her like, hey, you got to stop. Like, stop trying to save the day. Every time they do something, you got to let them fail. And then they'll see that they can't rely on you to that. But she's like, you know, if I if I don't help my sons, then who's going to help them? And I'm like, you're not helping them. That's basically what I'm saying. You're not helping them at this point. He still did what he did to get arrested. You paying for a bond and him not making the date, that ain't helping him at all. One night she over my crib and you know, we didn't, you know, did a dark activities and we chilling, you know, and one of them show up at my house and he like, where my mama at? I'm like, one, you're not welcome here. 
<laughs> like, I don't like you. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it 100. Your mama know it. I know it. You know it. Why are you at my house? Like, I need to talk to my mama. He bamming on the door. And so she come downstairs. I'm like, hey, what's going on? And like, hey, man, we talked about your kids coming over my crib. And she's like, I know, Tom. I know. I know. So she go to the door. And he like, mom, I need $10. And I'm like, you done came up with my house bamming at my door in the middle of the night for 10 fucking dollars? So she goes in her purse to get the $10. And I'm like, look, this is what I'm talking about, man. Like, you got to cut it out. Like, stop. And she's like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And he's like, man, you need to mind your fucking business. I'm like, excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This nigga want to rumble. Like, I'm, like, hold on, who are you talking to, sir? You at my crib. So he like stepped to me. Those who know me, I'm a wish a nigga would type fool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm that dude. So he steps to me. And like, as soon as he stepped to me, like, I don't play. Like, I literally put him in a, a hole, like, whoo, whoo, boom. And he like, mama, 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 mama. I'm like, she like, Tom, let him go, let him go. I'm like, he grown now. You know what I'm saying? He, he grown. He, he, he asked me who I was not talking to. You know what I'm saying? And so I let him go or whatnot. And he like, man, you, you a fuck nigga. You a this, this, and the third. So he leaves. 20 minutes later, he come back with the brother. You know what I'm saying? So they in, in the front of my crib, like, trying to get me to come outside because they want to fight. She's like, Tom, Tom, you know, crying and all this stuff. And she's just, I'm like, look, I'm going to tell you like this. If them little niggas ain't gone in five minutes, I'm going to go outside and fight. And I'm going to beat the shit out of both them niggas. Like, for real, for real. And she's like, oh. She's crying and she start praying and all this stuff. And then she goes outside and she talks to him. She's just like, y'all need to leave. Y'all need to leave right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't beat Tom up like this and third. He gonna kill y'all. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, she was like, you know, he gonna kill y'all. They get in the car, they leave. She come inside and she's like, I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed. You know, all this stuff. And I'm like, I think you should leave. And she was like, I mean, I, I get that. I get that. I'm gonna leave and we'll talk, you know, tomorrow. And I was like, nah, fam, I think we done. And she was just like, Tom, Tom, no, that's no, that's, that is unacceptable. I'm like, we done because this, this ain't going to stop and I'm not built for it. And I'm just going to keep it a buck. If them boys keep being like that, I would be then had to put my hands on one of them. And what would I look like sitting in jail from beating the shit out of your kids because you won't parent them correctly? And she, you know, she's crying and she's, you know, hugging me and she's just like, please, baby, please, you know, just all this stuff. And I was just like, look, you need to leave. That was a hard breakup. You know what I'm saying? Because she kept trying like for months. She kept trying like she kept trying to the point when she finally realized I wasn't going to be on it. She moved out of state, but she took them two fools with her. So she's somewhere else going through it still because of them two boys. That's another one of my wild and crazy stories. I see you in the next one. Look, get the protect black women hoodie available in the merch store right now just click the link on the description once again we're still trying to raise money for the kickback so click the link in the description if you want to donate hey, if you can donate a dollar twenty five dollars fifty dollars thirty thousand dollars you got it just go ahead and click the link in the description i'm tom swoop first off in my opinion mr story time and i'll see you in the next one